Yay, I'm participating in Drawtober. This is week one. I'll have timestamps in the description below. Wait, before we get started, I got some stills. I'll be using them from now on for my speed paints, and I'll even start doing some comic and art advice for those who want to start that. All right, back to the speed paint. I'm implementing a rating system for each piece that I do, and I'm going to explain that right here. This is the first ranking. It is known as Igor, and it's the worst ranking equivalent of failing in school. This is Boo Hoo. It's equivalent to getting a D in school, so technically passing, but not by much. This is Creepy Critter. It's equivalent to getting a C in school, so passing, but there's still a lot that I could improve on. Next, we have Black Cat, the equivalent of getting a B in school, so passing really well, but still some things I would like to improve on. Witchful is an A, which means I would change very, very little to nothing about it. I'd be really, really proud of these. This is Spooptacular, the absolute highest ranking, and only one theme a week will earn it. So, to overgo this once more, Spooptacular is the best and is only a word to one. Witchful is A, Black Cat is B, Creepy Critter is C, Boohoo is D, and Igor is F. First day is pumpkins. This was the day that inspired the stills that you saw at the beginning of the video. I drew my avatar in a pumpkin outfit using all the same kind of outfit pieces. Basically, the outfit, my main outfit, consists of a back bow, a barrette or hairpin, a neck bow, some a sweater, and a skirt. While I find this adorable as I use this outfit for stills, I did not like how the pumpkin turned out. Overall, I'd give this a boohoo because the pumpkin looks weird. Day two was cozy. I decided to draw two witches cuddling underneath the blanket with some cups and a spider by them, like a little cat. I find this really, really cute, but the outfits are really plain, and I wasn't really creative with the concept of cozy. Overall, I'd give this a creepy critter, because while there's not much technically wrong with it, I really didn't challenge myself that way that day. Day three is Moon. I decided to draw an object head, and I took notes the previous night. It was really excited about this one, and I decided to keep up that trend. I drew her in an anime-esque sailor schoolgirl outfit. I gave the outfit a cosmic theme, trying to create like the sky and the skirt and collar. I gave her a star on her head because I couldn't really add hair, but I kind of wanted to balance out the rest of the outfit. And that's really it. I'd give this a black cat because I'm really happy with how it turned out, but at the same time, I could have done better. And now on to fantasy. This has to have been the hardest one for me to do as I draw fantasy on a regular basis. So in the end, I drew a Fiendex cell from a comic I'm working on in Halloween outfits. But even that wasn't original as these are outfits that they're going to be wearing for an animatic that I'm working on for Halloween that I'm going to publish on Halloween. And what I mean by original is, yes, I did come up with the concepts, but this wasn't for this challenge or speed paint, so it was a really lazy speed paint. As much as it hurts to do this, as these are going to be characters that I'm going to work with and love, I have to give this an Igor just because of how lazy it was. Mushrooms was another challenging theme, but I ended up deciding to draw a little mushroom witch riding a mushroom in a mushroom-themed outfit eating a mushroom. Try saying that five times fast. It's really, really cute. I absolutely love the design, especially of the mushroom broom thing. And the little hat, it's just, ah, I can't stop gushing about this. I'm sure you think that this is going to be spooktacular, but if it wasn't for one other prompt, this would have been spooktacular. But because of that other prompt, I have to give this witchful. Day six is aliens. So, for this prompt, I wasn't originally going to make, like, a tentacle girl, but I changed my mind. I remember an old, kind of bad show called Monsters vs. Aliens, and there was, like, this square pink alien. So I kind of modeled the head and antennas after that, but not really because I couldn't remember much about the show. All I remember was it was modeled after some movie called Monsters vs. Aliens. 
I gave her antennas, wings, a tail, and three eyes. I decided to make her a cosmic magical girl and themed her whole outfit and design around the moon and stars. I kind of gave her a Lolita-esque outfit and I find this her really adorable. I love this one. It's amazing. And this was the one that beat out the mushroom. It was a really difficult decision, but I have to give this one the spooptacular rating. Pajamas. This one was kind of tricky to come up with. I'm not going to lie. So I gave her a frilly shirt and bloomers, something cute but cozy, and some slippers. I gave her fluffy hair because fluffy equals cozy. And then as a stuffed animal or doll, I used the object head from day three, the moon, as like an extra accessory. I also did my best to make her look sleepy. I'd give this one a black cat because... The sleeves are kind of weird, and so is the pose. And that's it for week one. Follow my Twitter if you want to see these early. Check out all my comics, and links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys!